Hi guys, in this lecture I will explain you what are generics in C sharp. Now generics in C sharp is a very important concept because till now we have worked with normal methods or methods which take normal parameters in them, right? So if you are working with um, big projects in your organization, you will uh, encounter many methods and many classes which take which work with a specific data type. Okay, that is why you need to understand the concept of generics in C sharp. So let's quickly jump into our slides and understand what are generics. So generics means parameterized type. Now parameterized types are important because they enable us to create classes, methods, etc in which the type of data upon which they operate operate is specified as a parameter so what does generic do if you are working with a method or you are, you are working with a class you can specify a specific data type in which that class or method can work it won't work with any other data type so let's quickly jump to visual studio and understand what uh, what do i mean by these points so here is a console application that I have created and before explaining you the concept of generics let's examine a class which is present in uh, system dot collection namespace and this uh, class is called stack class so let's go to the definition of this stack class and you can see this stack class implements i collection interface so this is a collection class and it has a method called as push method which inserts an object at the top of the system dot collection dot stack so this method push pushes a element into the stack class you can understand this stack class as a stack of books so if i have a book kept over another book so that is a stack of book so whichever book i will be keeping in the last will be the first element to come out of the stack if i try to remove that book same concept goes with this push method in the stack class the reason why i am explaining you this push method in the stack class is because i will be using this push method in my demo so let's go back to our program class and let's make a object of this stack class stack obj equals new stack now let's add some elements in my stack obj using the push method so let me add integer 12 and let me copy this and add three or four more elements okay and let me change these elements and then let's display these elements onto the console using for each loop so let me have my stack obj in here and let me write console dot write line for each item okay then let's write console dot read for stopping the console from going away and let's try to run this program so let's run this and you can see 15 14 13 and 12 and these elements are stacked that is 15 is inserted at last and it is displayed at the first so is there any problem with this code it doesn't seem so but there's a very big problem this class is not type safe that is i can insert any data type in this class and this shouldn't be allowed so you can see if i try to push a element what my intelligent intelligence says it says i can push object data type that means i can also push a string data type i can also push a integer data type and i or, or i can also push a float data type that is because each and every data type derives from system dot object so let me try to push a string in here my name is john and let me try to run this program again and you can see my name is john is also interest, inserted with these integers and this shouldn't be allowed so what is the solution for this problem the problem uh, the solution is generics and how do i specify a generic class by using these 
angular brackets and I can specify my data type inside these angular brackets okay so this stack class takes only integer data type and the moment I do this you can see it is not allowing allowing to push a string data type inside my stack class that is because stack is strongly typed to integer data type now okay let's try to run this you can see it runs as expected and let's try to now make this data type as string data type so let me make this as string and you can see i have got a error to all of my integer data types and this this line doesn't give me an error that is because this is a string and it accepts only string data type so i need to comment these elements then you can see my name is john is inserted inside my stack class so this is a very simple example demonstrating generics so let's move back to our slides and you can see all these four points emphasize the importance of generics you can see the third point using Genix, it is possible to create a single class that automatically works with different types of data and that I have shown you in my demo. And C Sharp has always given us the flexibility to create generalized code by operating through reference of type object. So if you go back, uh, you can see the this, if we remove this string data type or we remove this generic data type from here, my stack obj accepted object data type and that is also an option with c sharp but this is not type safe so this is what my next point says and the solution of above problem is generix and with generix we can also create a list of or you know, we can create a stack of complex data types so let's move back to our visual studio and you can if if i have a class called as person class and which have a single property called as name I can store this person object into this stack with the help of generics. So what I need to do, I just need to create the object of this person class. Person P equals new person and P dot. Let's assign a name to this person and it's a string. So let's assign it a name John and then change this data type to person so my stack now accepts only person data type and you can see this line gives me error which is obvious because it does not take strings now and let me insert a person object so you can see now my push method accepts a person item okay so what it will accept it will accept the person object that is p which i have made in here and this will now have to display the item dot name that it it will display the name of my person and let's try to run this and you can see john is inserted in the stack class so let's move back to our slides so I hope you have understood the concept of Genrix in C Sharp because it is a very important topic if you are writing C Sharp code. So I hope you understood this video. If you have any doubt, please leave a comment below and please do subscribe to my channel. Also, please share this video to your friends. Thank you so very much.